Wings. Namely, chicken wings. I put a post up the other day talking about chicken wings. You definitely need a brush. And I asked you what your favourite was. Do you like the flats or do you like the drumettes? Which do you prefer? Oh, okay, you want to go down. Sorry. And you all commented what you preferred. I like the flats. Sorry, I just think they're best. I think they're superior. They're just sweeter. They can carry the flavour better. The skin is crispier. And you tend to get less of that f***ing crappy bit of cartilage that you get stuck in your teeth and it's not very nice. Some people eat that. Well, you do you. Kind of got me thinking. I went down a bit of a rabbit hole, actually, about how to get the crispiest, perfect chicken wing. Right, how to get that really teeth shatteringly crisp outer skin. So we're doing a science experiment today. I am working on a recipe. That's why I put the post up. I'm working on a chicken wing recipe. But it's not quite there yet. So whilst I'm developing that, I figured I could tackle the sort of crispiness aspect of it. Okay, I made a list and everything. Look at that. We're going all like proper. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the flour. Okay, everything else is going to be the same. I'm going to season them the same. I'm going to cook them the same way. I'm going to do them in oil. Okay, all at the same temperature, but we're going to concentrate on the flour. Okay, I feel like this could go further than one episode. All right, I feel like I've dug myself into a bit of a hole here. But in this experiment, all we're really looking for is crispness. Which of these flours is going to produce the best crispness on our skin? I've gone proper scientific with this, right? We'll actually plan this out. It's unlike me. I've made labels and everything. But look, before we go to the kitchen and make a hack job of this, do the usual thing. Like, share and subscribe. Click the grey notification bell as well. That way YouTube tells you when I've uploaded. Well, they should do. So let's go to the kitchen and do this, this test. Weird science. Start that filming it with Kelly LeBrock. Okay, right, let's start this experiment. I have my wings here. Uh, I'm using flats, okay, just because I want consistency and also they're the best. I have got the drumettes in the, in the fridge. I will eat them because they are still nice. Now I've got 12 flats here and I've got four types of flour. So obviously I need to divide the wings by four. So 12 divided by four is three. Three wings per bowl of flour. Yeah, yeah, I did some maths. Anyway, what we're going to do is season these up, okay? Again, we're not concentrating on the, the flavour and the seasoning. It's all about the crunch. So all I'm going to do is just season them up just a little bit. Uh, we're going to add some celery salt, some garlic powder. And I'm going to chuck on some Old Bay. Now, if you never use this stuff, it's brilliant. Get some. Goes on everything. Massage your girlfriend or boyfriend if you want. They'll taste better. Don't do that, boys and girls, please don't. And I'm gonna chuck on some hot sauce. Use one of your favorites. I've got some sriracha here. And all I'm gonna do is smush those around a bit. The hot sauce is gonna help the flour stick, which is ultimately what we want. Now, ideally what you'd do is if you're gonna marinate these, you'd leave them in the fridge for like 24 hours so the flavor gets kind of permeated through the chicken. We're not worrying too much about that today. But what I am gonna do is just leave it for about 30 minutes just so some of that flavour can seep in. Flatten them out a bit. Wash my hands and I'm going to cover it back with a cling film. See you in a bit. Now look, you see I've labelled up the bowls A, B, C and D, which will correspond with our list. And I've also labelled up the sort of draining pan that I've set up, which will put the cooked wings on just to sit there until they're kind of cooled down a bit and we can taste them. It's all very organised for me anyway. So what I'm going to do is get the flowers into these bowls so we know which is which. Right, so the first bowl, plain flour. And I've got my properly measured one tablespoon thingy-majig just so it's consistent. And I think I'm going to go because there's only going to be three wings per bowl so I think two tablespoons is going to be more than enough. So one, two. And I'm going to rinse this off, just, you know, so we're all consistent. Corn flour. Listen, you know what I'm doing. Don't need to sit here and watch me do all of them. One, two. But anyway, I'll be right back. You don't want to sit here and watch me do this. Right, so I've got all the bowls laid out with all their respective flours. Uh, what I'm going to do is just make up a bit of a seasoning for these flours. So I'm going to go in with some pepper, uh, probably a couple of teaspoons 
maybe three of celery salt, some more Old Bay, uh, I'd say another three teaspoons, some garlic powder, plenty of that. Again, we're not focusing on the seasoning, all right? So don't worry too much. We're gonna go with some white pepper as well, and maybe like a teaspoon or two of cayenne. And I'm gonna go in with a couple of teaspoons of oregano. Then I'm gonna mix that up, and then I'm gonna add a couple of teaspoons of this flavor mix to our flowers. Two, touch more in there. And then we'll give those a bit of a mix. And I'm just gonna leave the wings just to kind of marinate a little bit further, because at the end of the day, I'm gonna eat them. I don't want them to go to waste. So I want a bit of flavor in there. Which one do you think's gonna win mugs? A, B, C or D? It's hard to tell. I'm gonna say the rice flour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hedge my bets and say that's gonna be the best one. Now it should be said, I've probably used all of these flowers at some point when doing my chicken wings. I've got like four or five recipes on the channel for chicken wings because I love them so much. But I can't determine which was crispiest. That's why we're doing them all together today for the benefit of mankind. I should get a Nobel Prize for this. Chicken wing expert. But you guys as well, let me know in the comments have you got any nifty little tips, tricks, little ways that you do things. Do you oven bake them? Do you fry them? Do you cook them by jet engine? What do you do? How do you get your wings super, super crispy? Okay, this is, this, this is a starting point for me. I fear this could go on into other videos, which is a good thing. We'll get to the bottom of it. The crispiest wing ever. Or I'll fail miserably. One of the two. Okay, right, so we are ready now to get our chicken wings in our respective flowers. Okay, and we're just gonna go in with three wings a piece. I'm just gonna mix them up. Get them coated in the flour. Simple as that. So now the wings are ready to go. We need to heat the oil. So what I need to do now is get this oil up to temperature. Now, ideally, if you're gonna do an experiment like this, you'd have four different pans, so they all cook at the same time. I can't do that, right? This isn't Bon Appetit. Right, this is Adam cooking in his up scuffed kitchen. So we're gonna have to do it in one pan and do it in batches. It'll be fine. So let's get this oil on. Now listen, I've said this times, times I've said this. Boys and girls, do not around with hot oil. All right, if you don't treat it with the respect it deserves, it will your life up, all right? You'll burn your face off. You'll end up in flipping hospital and nobody wants that. I certainly don't want it, neither do you. So just Use a deep fat fryer if you've got one, it's safer. But I'm going to get this oil up to 170. 170 degrees C, uh, which is going to be what, 350 Fahrenheit? Something like that. I think that's going to be the perfect temperature to cook the wings. So I've seen a bit when it's up to temperature. State of him. Absolute state of you. All right there, bud. Chilling out. Good for you. I think the oil is about ready. We're almost there, let's have a go. 57, 148, 56, 61, 66, 68. Oh yeah, we are there. We are there. So I'm gonna go in with the first batch of wings. Okay, now when I, when I drop these in, it is gonna bring the temperature down slightly. That's fine. Okay, but we're gonna kind of maintain the temperature to about 165, 170 if we can. So just kind of shake off the excess. Lay them in. And I'm gonna cook these for exactly nine minutes. Each batch is gonna be for nine minutes, okay, to ensure consistency. And then I'll bring it out, put it on its respective section on the uh, draining tray thing that I've made. And then we'll fry the next batch. Simple as that. Okay, right, so we are ready to fetch out batch A. Put them on their respective station. Now I know what you're thinking, Adam, they are burnt as fuck. Uh, they're teetering, I'm not gonna lie. One thing I found is when I put these into the fryer with the plain flour, and I've had this with fried chicken as well, when I've made my own, uh, which is another recipe I'm working on, is that plain flour burns really easily, okay? When you put it into the oil, it darkens really, really fast. So I think the takeaway there is if you're frying with plain flour, lower the temperature, because it's just gonna catch really, really quickly. Uh, other flours don't do that. I've never had the same problem with rice flour, potato flour, or cornstarch. But anyway, they're a little bit darker than what I wanted, but they are cooked through. And also to ensure consistency, because I'm not frying them all at the same time, I want to capture an audio test for crispness. So what I'm gonna do is leave these for one minute and then I'm gonna get a fork, 
take my microphone and scrape along the top so we can get an accurate audio description of how crispy they are. So hopefully at the end, we can then compare all the audio to kind of differentiate between all four. So that's batch A done. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me do all four. So by the time you come back, they'll all be on here, ready to go. A little longer than a few minutes later. So there's all the wings fried up. Now what is very apparent is that those are burnt. Those are very burnt. They did catch really, really quickly. So I don't know if that's down to the flour or temperature control. I think it's probably a bit of both. To be honest, all the other three are verging on burnt. I think in reality, you, you know when your chicken wings are done. These probably would have taken about seven minutes, but alas, we're not here to judge that. We're here to judge the crispiness. So I did an audio test on all four. Which one do you think sounds more crispy? Now it's all very well and good them sounding crispy, but which one tastes the crispiest? Let's find out. Right, so let's give them the all important taste test. Well, not taste, crunch test, in your mouth test. we we'll go with A first. Now I know appearance wise, it looks like a burnt turd, but you know, we'll see. Let's go in. Mm. Flavour's really good actually. Considering they've been sitting around whilst the others have been cooking, that's still really crispy. Let's move on to B. B. This is the corn flour. A lot lighter in colour, but again, I think some of that's down to temperature control. Enough waffling though, let's get in. I would say that's on par than the plain flour. <clears throat> I would say. Let's go on to C, this is the rice flour. Again, much lighter in colour, but some of that again is going to be down to temperature control, but do find when I fry using rice flour, it's a lot more forgiving. Let's go in. It's not as crispy as the plain flour, I'll give it that. It's almost slightly softer. Still crispy, but it's almost got like a chewiness to it, which I really like. But in terms of teeth shattering crunch, it's not the rice flour, which surprises me because I've used it plenty of times. Let me just go back to A again. A is way crispier than C. Let's move on to the last one then, D. Again, much lighter in colour. Let's go in. I'd say that's closer to B than any of the others. It's very similar in consistency, very similar in terms of crispness. Um, wow, this is a tough one. Where do I go from here? This is hard. Hmm, let's go and discuss. So which one is the best? It's actually a lot more difficult than what I thought. Now one thing that did come out of this was some flowers burn easier than others. Rice flour seems to be much more forgiving. You don't have to worry as much, but the plain flour just catches so easily. But it was the crispiest, which really surprised me. The one, th the one flour that I thought would come out the crispiest was the rice flour. I like the slight chewiness that the rice flour had, but I really liked the crunch that the plain flour had. Even though it had been sitting around for like half an hour whilst I cooked the rest, it was still crispy. So maybe we meld the two together. I don't know, those two stark contrasts, the two differences, the chewiness of the rice flour, the ultra crispiness of the plain flour, I think them two together can make love and make harmony. For ultimate chicken wings. So there we go, that is the chicken wing experiment. Trying out all the different flours. But look, let me know in the comments, what do you think? Which one do you think was the best? I know like you didn't taste it, but okay, you're going. What do you think? Which do you think was the best? Which sounded the best? Which looked the best? Out of your own personal experience, which flower do you think's the best? Is there some random strange flower out there that I've never used? But there we are, we did it, we did the test, we did the experiment. Adam got his science jacket on. But listen, I've been waffling on long enough. I'm probably gonna do another video testing out the two flowers together. We'll see how that pans out. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll move on to like cooking techniques. 
bacon versus frying. But anyway, I'm gonna bugger off because I'm tired, I'm hungry. I need a cup of tea. But before I go, do the usual thing. If you enjoyed the video, stick a like on it, share it to your friends and family. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Turn these chickens off. Yeah.